Alright guys, Carthrow Goods Fishing. I just caught this chunk. Might be, man, three, three and a half. This is a nice fish, chunky fish caught on the Z-Man chatterbait. We're gonna go ahead and get a weight on this fish. Uh, first one of the day out here, made one cast and hooked this thing. Hooked him good. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and get a weight on this fish now. Pretty chunky uh, fish. It's a good fish, man. Yeah. Um, it's going up. What do you got? About two pounds, three. Three. Three? Three pounds even, yep. Right, let's take a look. There it is, three pounds even. All right. Let me see. Oh, the scale just died. Huh, what are the odds of that? Three pounds even. Yeah. Good job, man. All right, let's get the release. Nice one, bro. All right, guys, we're going to go in for the release on this nice chunk. First fish of the day. Nice three pounder. There she goes. Nice, probably about eh, two, two and a half maybe. Pretty chunky little fish. All right guys, we're going in for the release now. There she goes. All right guys, so after watching those uh, couple clips of me catching a few bass, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, talk to you guys and go over a couple things here. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about is why I haven't been uploading videos as much as I used to. The reason for that is I'm actually building a boat right now. We got a whole build going on with that. Um, I haven't really been able to film with that too much just because it's been kind of hectic doing the whole build and everything. I haven't really had time to film, uh, but I will show you guys that once we're finished with it. Um, and it, you might, you guys might be able to see what we've got done on it so far in an upcoming video. But um, that's basically my whole reason that I haven't been uploading videos as much as I'd like to. But I'm gonna try to um, start getting some more videos on now. And also another reason. It's been so cold lately. Um, like right now, I'm on spring break, and it's like maybe 40 degrees outside. Um, probably less than that. But um, I did get a, I did uh, get a chance to go out and catch a couple of fish, like you guys saw. Finally got my first fish of 2017. And the reason for that is again the boat, and also I've been uh, doing a lot of work on the farm, doing a lot of work out there with that. So I haven't really been able to go fishing a lot. So. Now it's starting to get warmer out, I'm starting to get a little more free time to go out and do uh, some more fishing. So I'll definitely get some more videos out here pretty soon. Uh, I, I do know that the time this video is up, it's uh, close to the end of March here, uh, March 31st. And um, I just figured I'd go ahead and um, unbox the Mystery Tackle Box for the month of March. And another thing I want to show you guys is a brand new reel that I got. I'll go ahead and I'll start off with this. This is a 13 Fishing Concept TX. It is a um, it is a new reel 13 Fishing has come out with. I've seen this reel on Tackle Warehouse, and I've been waiting probably close to a year to get this reel in. It's been on back order for so long. It finally came in. Super excited to get it. Uh, first thing out of, the, out of the box is a nice little uh, 13 Fishing sticker, little uh, like brochure, I guess you could say, on 13 Fishing, and then it's the parts uh, diagram for the reel. Uh, and then you get the reel. It is like a uh, turquoise blue. It's pretty cool. I like uh, these custom style reels. Many of you guys know I do have the 13 Fishing uh, Concept KP. And that is a uh, bright red reel. And I think, um, I, I kind of like going with the more uh, custom collar theme to my reels. I think it just looks pretty cool. But I got the 6-6-1 uh, six, six gear ratio reel. Our uh, motto in this reel. Just because I think I'm going to be probably throwing some uh, a little bit... Uh, heavier lures with this reel because this reel um, does have 22 pounds of drag. I'll go ahead and uh, give you some specs while so I'll talk about the drag real quick. Um, the new, it, it features the new titanium bulldog drag system. Like I said, 22 pounds of max drag. It has the Ocean Armor uh, saltwater protection. It has uh, 10 bearings. It has, uh, some of the bearings are sealed so they help with that, with um, uh, corrosion. And it uh, has two Japanese high spin corrosion resistant bearings, um, lightweight KP uh, technology gear shaft, which is the same thing as in the KP that I was talking about. Uh, concept cork handles, looks very nice with those. Uh, it's uh, trick shot compatible and just a couple other things, um, like Japanese gears and stuff that it says in the box. But, um, and this is the only 13 fishing reel right now that comes with the deep spool. My Concept KP does have the deep spool in it. I went ahead and I bought that spool for it. Since I'm talking about this reel so much, I'll go ahead and uh, 
take it out of the uh, drill case off my dresser back there and show you guys. So this is the KP right here. Um, I'll get like I can give a close up of this soon. And another thing about this reel that I just remembered is this reel is only um, available in right hand models. It's available in a six six to one, a seven three to one, and an eight um, one to one. I believe it was. Both these reels are six six to ones. I'm probably gonna spool this up with seventeen pound fluorocarbon. Uh, use it for throwing some smaller, a little bit smaller swim baits maybe, and then. Um, I might uh, get a different, another one of these deep swills for it and put like maybe 65 pound braid on it for throwing a little bit bigger swim baits when I need to. But uh, we haven't really gotten to that right now. So once I get to that, uh, we'll uh, figure that out then. But uh, one thing I want to point out between these two reels is they are very similar in shape. Um, very similar. So I'm going to guess that they use the same frame off of the KP on the TX. That's just what I'm assuming, not 100% sure if that's true or not. And another thing is these cork handles are a little bit lighter. It's probably just because these ones got a little bit dirtier. Because I've been using this reel for uh, probably close to a year now. But um, another, uh, another thing that's different on the TX and the KP, the KP has just a side plate that comes off. And this they call this the beetle wing system. The side plate just kind of pops out and it hangs there. Show you that again. Pretty cool, pretty neat little uh, design there. No more dropping your side plate in the uh, water. I know, uh, I know it's happened to me a couple of times where you forget to lock your side plate down, and you go to make a cast and it falls down. Luckily, every time this happened to me, I've been able to pick it up because it's just falling uh, right below my feet. But uh, I know some guys who have cast out there and the whole side plate just flies off and they've ruined a whole reel. Um, but I'm gonna be using this reel for salt water or um, fresh water. Like I said, it's a salt water uh, reel designed for salt water. But I'm gonna mainly be using it for fresh water. And if I ever do go salt water fishing, then I have the salt water reel. I just picked this reel because I really like the design, and uh, I've wanted to get this reel for a long time now. I'm very, very excited for it to come in. Uh, awesome reel. I'll go ahead and I'll give you guys another close up of it. There it is, right there. Nice blue. There's those cork knobs. Nice uh, black uh, reel handle. Pretty cool reel. Alright, now we'll go ahead and uh, get into the mystery tackle box. Unboxing for the, uh, month of April, for the month of April. What am I doing here? Alright, so starting off, we have the Yellow Perch Jointed Crankbait by Live Target. And this crankbait retails for $15.99. So, right there, you already have the full price of your box. In just this one lure. Oh, I'll slide this one out of the package and give you guys a quick little look at it. This is a bait I'm probably using when I go up to uh, Minnesota. Imitate some of the yellow perch out in that lake up there. Pretty nice little crankbait. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, give you guys some specs on this bait. Uh, it's a 3 8, it weigh, uh, three eight ounce. So you, uh, you probably could throw this on uh, casting gear. Uh, it dives 3 to 5 feet, and uh, that's basically it. Alright, so next up we have the Shroom Project Z Shrooms Micro Finesse Jig. That's a mouthful right there. By Z Man. These retail for $5. And to go along with these as a trailer, we have the Crusties, also by Z Man. I'll, uh, I'll pull one each of these out of the package here. Just go ahead and show you guys what each of these looks like. Real quick on the uh, little Crusties craw right here. Get that Z-Man plastic, very stretchable. A very flexible uh, plastic there. Slide on these little jigs out here. It's a nice little finesse jig, compact. Very compact little jig. Uh, it's called the Crusties, there it is. Nice little craw imitation bait. And then here is the little jig to go along with it. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'll pair these up. So I got it rigged up. Put the little crusty's craw on the little jig there. Nice little uh, finesse jig. Definitely gonna give this one a try. I'd uh, highly, uh, I definitely use this little jig on um, spinning tackle or spinning gear just because it's a little lighter. I believe this is a quarter ounce, um, three sixteenths ounce is actually what it is. So yeah, definitely spinning gear with this one. Next up, we have the salty creature by Cabin Creek Baits. This retails for um, 
two dollars and twenty four cents. Basically, a looks very similar to the Zoom Brush Hog. There it is. Nice little creature bait. Definitely gonna get some use in uh, this little bait here. All right, and lastly, we have the Bleeding Bait Hook Assorbent by Daiichi. Here it is, just a bunch of the um, red bleeding hooks. Pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if it says, yeah, no, it doesn't say what size hooks these are. But uh, those are pretty cool. Probably gonna use them for, uh, probably pair them up with the uh, little creature bait right here. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be trying to get a lot more videos out this year. I'm gonna try to get way more videos out than I did last year. So stay tuned for all that. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe.